Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and those folks that's never been to our channel, we do appreciate you stopping by. And this uh, episode is very, very informative and we're going to show you, uh, if you've watched the channel and those that haven't, we bought a house that uh, the outdoor wood stove was in a bad spot, blah, blah, blah. So we removed it. But anyway, we're hooking into the hot water heater with a 30 plate exchanger. And I'm gonna show you how to do that if you wanna do it yourself. And the other thing is I put temperature gauges in on the feed and on the return. So we're gonna be able to see how much draw that this thing has taken off our outdoor wood stove water. And another thing that I did is I used a braided line, a braided water line to hook it into my flat plate and tied it back into PEX. So we're gonna show you how to do that as well. Um, so anyway, uh, watch this video, give me a thumbs up, and let me know what you think in the comments. But anyway, let's go ahead and start hooking this bad boy up. I had to run and get some bushings uh, from one inch down to three quarter. And I'm going to use braided line because back in the day we used to always put unions on these in case you had to take this off and clean it or whatever you could you could uh, get it apart but nowadays with these uh, braided lines which I didn't have when I installed wood stoves I don't have I'm thinking I should be able to just screw these down right to my pecs and right to these with a little nipple and I should be all set. Probably just mount this to the to the bracket that's there. Okay. Let's see if that works. solid okay we got to drain a little water out of the hot water heater and switch the put this to here that should be all we got to do is move this to here which is going to feed that and we'll add a new one from here to here Okay, moment of truth here. Open the well. I got the hot water heater unplugged right now. So far, so good. All valves are open. Hot water heater's full. I drained it upstairs, or I should say open the valve to get the air out of it. Plug in the power vent, turn on the hot water heater. And we're all hooked up. 
on the well side. So this is the outdoor wood stove side. I can either take and take these nipple out and put pecs and just come to pecs or I can take these braided lines and then and then hook pecs to my braided line and go up. So I got some choices and I'll try to decide on how I want to do this. So we'll go ahead and hook up the boiler lines now. Uh, what I decided to do, we're going to come in this way, but I'm going to bring this one around. Now always remember on an outdoor wood stove, there's hardly any pressure uh, like you know three four pounds of pressure is all on the line so they don't have to be uh, reefed right down so just remember that there was a temperature gauge on this so I'm going to install the well back in so this is going to be the feed coming in and this way we can tell what our water temperature is and also we'll put a temperature gauge on the oh, on the return so we can see uh, what kind of heat loss we have after doing the uh, hot water heater and doing the furnace. There. So now we'll put this uh, feed with the braided line on. Now what I'm thinking is I'm gonna bring this braided line right this way and I'll put my PEX fitting on there and hook in, hook into my feed right here. And up top, I think I'll put an elbow and all I gotta do is uh, tie back into uh, the, old, the old line where it was before. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. I think I'll put a, connect this push fit up here. Got it in. Awesome. You know, that is an easy way. I've done lots of copper. So I can solder. If you're watching my videos, I've done a hot water heater before, but I uh, just wanted to do this to show people that they can do it themselves. And I never thought about uh, using this braided before. Um, how's it look? Well, I, uh, you know what? Yeah, copper would look better, but the average Joe can do it this way. And the way that I have this set up is all I'm going to do with this 30 plate is preheat. I'm preheating my hot water heater. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, is I'm going to go ahead and my return will come underneath my feed over. I'm going to put a elbow and then a pex fitting on that. So let's let's get that ready. I'm going to put a pex fitting on it. And I got the thermostat in, temperature gauge, I should say, for 
uh, the return. Feed return. We will also put a PAX fitting on here because this will be our feed. I'll go ahead and uh, put some thread tape on that and uh, do that up. There. So there again, this is where my feed is going to come in. Continue on. And then as it comes out, it'll come into the return and back to the wood stove. So now all we've got to do is uh, make our connections. Like I say, with how I did this, anybody can hook this up. It's really not that difficult. So let's go ahead and get these lines going. Okay. We didn't have no more red pipe. Isn't that crazy? So the one on the left, white one, it's a feed. And it comes over. And we come through this partition. And I put it on top of that duck. And then it goes across the beam. And then down. So let's go over there. So you can see my lines. Coming down is the feed, going up is the return. Comes over and it goes behind the water softener. Over here on the other side, the top one's the feed, bottom one's the return. So to take a look at this, the water comes in from the well into the flat plate, through the flat plate, and it feeds the hot water heater. The outdoor wood stove water uh, comes in and then it will come out. It goes over to the plenum. Let me show you. Comes over to the plenum, goes through, and then it heads back. It comes uh, back this way, and we got a space heater out in the garage. If I don't want to run it through there, open this valve, close that one, and the water will then come down. And we'll see what kind of temperature we difference we have from the feed to the return and then back to the wood stove. And it just will make that, that cycle. So uh, never used this braided line before, but the way I look at it, I didn't have to buy unions to take this off if anything ever clogs up with that. And the other thing is I didn't have to cut a bunch of, you know, I didn't have to solder and I did not have to cut a bunch of pecs and a bunch of fittings uh, to make that work. So uh, it's, it's out of the way. So if I got to change the hot water heater, all I'd have to do is move, uh, take that off. And then, you know, and it's, <laughs> it's simple. So everything is totally out of the way. So that is uh, how I hooked up down here at this old house that we bought and uh, we moved the furnace, like I said, closer to the house. Okay, so we got a regular meat thermometer and uh, we're gonna see what the temperature is on this uh, water coming out of the hot water heater is. This is with the flat plate exchanger. The gas does not even kick on. So about 154, 155 degrees. So let's go down and see the draw on this. Okay, the water's still running upstairs. These, this is our feed which is 175 uh, coming in. This is our return. And it is at 145. Each mark is five degrees. So 145 going out, 175. So we are drawing 30 
degrees off this hot water heater or the hot water heater preheating or actually it's heating all the water and it's dropping 30 degrees a disclaimer is you should put on a mixing valve to temper the water down or people can go ahead and get burnt from the hot water heater pretty seriously so that is a disclaimer that if you hook it up you should follow the owner's uh, owner's manual and use a, a three-way mixing valve so you can steal water from the well and put it and temper it down and do that that way you ain't gonna have to worry about anybody getting burned or getting scalded or seriously so that is what you need to do I did not but you need to do that don't do what I do just do what I say so anyway we this is a success we are happy with how this is performing it's performing way better than I thought it would and uh, so we're getting close the outdoor wood stove is running and hardly using any wood right now but this was a very simple hookup doing it this way no soldering just you know if you can crimp it's crimp uh, your crimp rings and put fittings together it's very very easy to do so anyway thanks again for watching and until the next one we'll see you then